Oh really it beat Sago 3-0 off stream, if anyone's wondering. So. Falco, it's chic, as it usually is. Oh, they they switched. Both rocking the headphones. Want to you know drown out, out the noise and focus on the game. And dog uh, with the Illinois Wesleyan shirt. That's interesting. I didn't know he went to Illinois Wesleyan. And uh, facial uh, rocking the uh, Smash 64 character portrait shirt, which is cool. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's good. Oh, what's up, Oral? Yeah, we're very deceptive this morning. I'll check my phone, see if it buffers and stuff, Kyle. That's awesome. You can cast Twitch channels with TV now. That's so sick. I wonder if it can do it with my TV. I would totally do that when I'm at my house. Eighteen hundred. Okay. I don't know, man. I think it's just, it just might be you, Kyle. I'm sorry, man. Well, we're starting it off. Baseball shown to be really adapted uh, at handling Falco, uh, beating uh, Kells Falco a couple weeks ago. Um, Hand Dog, though, off to a great start, not letting um, Facial get anything on target. Mess up from Hand Dog. He tried a double laser off the ledge, but um, didn't jump high enough on. Didn't jump enough on the stage. He kind of fell. Oh. But uh, we saw. Oh, just down smashes the needles. Needles, get out of here! I don't want to jump on stage. Grab ledge. Oh, okay. People hesitate on the ledge sometimes. It's because um, if. She up B's originally close enough to the ledge, her first poop still has that hitbox and they don't want to get hit by it. So I can understand why there would be some hesitation. That's what uh, Cheeks like to use as a mix-up. Now I'll try to mix up where they're going to start their um, their poop so that they might be able to get the hitbox out. Uh, Alright, hold up Kyle. I will put on 1800 for you. Alright, hold up. Fly. I'm saying that uh, Hendog continues to keep his lead. One solid hit will do it for Sheik. Nice DI though, it's just, it's just dream -like. Ooh, 
Oh, the DI. That DI on that fourth throw, not super good. Um, the face will bring it back to a, a close game, 36%. Nothing a couple of tech chase re-grabs can't handle, can't fix. But I haven't seen face get one grab yet. He's got really good at, at, at this, this hit and run game. Okay, now there's a grab. See how much in the, uh, face will get off of this. Raise and miss tech and up smashes. Oh, gets back out. Being super careful to stay in front of Sheik so he doesn't get grabbed. Oh no. He messes up. I think Fish was supposed to jump in there, but he did that great force match back. Uh oh. Ooh, wow. Nice comeback from Fish. Alright. So we're gonna go on to um Yeah Kyle, Bobby said that I'm I'm not allowed to drop the theory anymore. On Yoshi's, uh, another commanding start from Pindog. Um, but any of these these slight mistakes, uh, Fischl's just ready to grab you for. Nice down air up tilt combos, man. You know what, Tech? Those are like money. Whoa, my goodness. That was crazy. You jumped up into that into the hitbox the first poop. That was crazy. Okay. So right hand dog kind of could afford to lose that stock. I think you use a high percent. I'm not sure. Nice bag here. Sharking under the platform. And now Hiddo's at a healthy lead. Okay, that was a bad uh, down there. But it doesn't get anything off. Drop through the platform to the bag areas. Okay, it's just shining. Sex off of these like near out of shields though are also really good off from Hit Dog. Making sure that those nares don't send him anywhere. Oh, is that gonna be it? Oh wow, again he gets hit by the, the first poop. And grabs it. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. He's trying on a shield from Hit Dog really good. And just disrupting the jab pressure to facial things that you can do on him. Alright, so. 1 1. Two Battlefield. And we'll see how um, Fischl can start to just control this game some more because it seems like Hen Dogs had a lot of the control. He was just able to inch it back that first game. Okay, nice. SDI out of the jab reset and shines him. I think the reason that works is because depending on how powerful the jab is, yeah, will depend on whether or not you can SDI out of it or not. Um, so like say for um, characters like Puff, 
her jab like does nothing. So it has like very little knockback, which is why you can't jab reset or you can't STI the jab reset. Which is why jab reset to rest is so good. But I think that Sheik's um, hand is a little more powerful than uh, a pink balloon's hand. So good awareness from my hand though. Send him back down. He's really high. Trades. That's the same reason that um uh, Pikachu's jabs. Um, you can jab reset them multiple times, and um, you can jab multiple times, and they won't like. You know, they'll still won't be able to like SD out of it because Pikachu's jab also has super little knockback. So you can jab like three times, and they'll still just get up from it like nothing even happened, as though you're only hitting them one time. Rat, Falco's dare is amazing. If Falcon had Falco's dare, the game would be over. Dude. Really close though. From and dog gets hit by the get up attack. And stays in shield a little bit too long, but nice spot dodge or taking place to shine. That's the hardest thing to react to when you're a chic player. And another really good back air. Uh, facial not expecting him to be sent that way, I don't think. So they're both really in the zone. I know that uh, Hen Dog has lost facial a couple times in the past like month or so. And this is the best time to win. So. Wow, nice narrow to shield though. And dog still up 58%. Really, really stay in the middle of the stage, using his laser game. Knows that he's in the lead. Doesn't want anything to do with it. Facial doesn't want anything to do with these lasers, so you know, she knows stolen. Um, trying to see if uh, Hindog will take the bait. Hindog really not taking the bait. A lot of good pressure on the back of a uh, Sheik's shield, where she can't grab you. That was nice. Ooh! Wow! Good down, down, good down smash. And face uh, pressure just kind of concedes. Seems like he jumped into the blast zone. Back to uh. Back to Battlefield. See, Hindog Roy is starting off strong and not giving any chances of, uh, of escape. Ooh, barely misses that down that down here. Oh, tournament winners and gets back here to it. Wow. Great pressure. Oh no, drop four to too low. Right. And dog, not, not even flinching. He loses his stock, doesn't even flinch. That's that's the sign of a man on a mission. Up. 
seeds the ledge. Again, that that little hesitation. The ledge seek live sometimes. Nice um nice easy tilt combos from Sheik. Down, down here, back here. I feel like Hintog's getting a little antsy. I feel as though Facial has kind of started to make Hintog, Hintog play his game. If he can get back, he's going to get back off the attack, but then, oh man, messes up the ledge there. Nice to try to get away, um, to try to contest the Shino still. But then Fairshield just gets back in the middle of the stage. Oh, oh, oh. The Ops attack? Crazy physics that we have with that stuff. Down smash evens it up. More of this uh, jab stuff that uh, he thought I was able to shine out of, which is really nice. Again, see, it seems as though Facial has started to push um, his sort of like game plan on to Hindog. Whereas Hindog, like in the past couple of games, has really been controlling the pace. <laughs> oh. Not looking good for Hindog. Okay, I did. 2 2. First game five on stream of the day. Well, it is only the second set of the day on stream, so. Let's see what goes on. Going to stadium, um, a good stage choice. And uh, it's ten. So we have your hidden face for last last game. Yeah, last game. I don't think it's safer to the stream later. Is that appropriate to sneak away from the ledge? Not to even seek any really option to be able to get safely back on the stage. Oh, it's all right there. But it's love. Is that your Twitter, Lauren? Yep. You're the best. I, I remember it because it's kind of like mine. <laughs> with like the, the underscore. Yeah. Thing. Oh, good stuff. Good conversion off that down air. I should be dead. In the last couple of games, Hindog was like really like controlling. Dominant. Like, he was really good controlling like the center of the stage and his his game plan. But then in the last game, it seemed as though he's been letting Facial get more of like, I don't know. Start his like gameplay. That's true. Maybe he's getting bored. I mean, I see him approaching Maybe. a lot more now. Yeah. Take the safer approach later. That's what we're doing. Right. That's death. Nice, nice needle. Mm -hmm. Perfectly high counter. Two. He's not really to convert off this combo right here. Off. Two. 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 Now get back in the center. That was a good up there to bring up the pressure right there. My face roll. Yep. That was great. Uh, he not recognized that face throw was going off, but he did. A, he used a second jump, so he realized he was gonna do a rise in air of some kind. Uh -huh. And he just waited like an extra second to avoid it. There's been a lot of that like hesitation where yeah. Facial will go to the ledge, but then at the very last second, Hint Dog has been giving it to him. Yep. Like the last hesitation, like, is he gonna get up now? Uh, yeah, right. I'm gonna try out this now, but it always messes. So if he has that, you might as well just maintain your center or your, your safe position. Right. You know your, your uh, attack's never gonna hit him because he never works. Oh, he's too fast. 
The hit dog is definitely being more aggressive, and Fishel's definitely punishing him for it. For sure. Every time he's gone in a grab, or hit dog has had some clubs, he's definitely punishing and led to at least 80% of the site. Yeah. Nice. Solid gameplay by face roll. Fishel takes it on game 5. I can update the score right here, so...